Whether you're creating Christmas cards or sending thank you notes after a wedding, the ability to create and print custom envelopes could be a really helpful tool for you in the new year. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create them within the editor and have them delivered to your door with Canva Print. Without further ado, let's hop in. Canva is your one-stop shop to design and print. All you have to do is choose a designer-made template, customize it in a few clicks, and they will print your product sustainably and send it to your doorstep for free. For every order sent to Canva, they actually plant a tree. So that is super exciting. And before I hop into the template we'll be customizing today, I want to remind you that you can go to lashondabrown.com slash Canva45 to get access to a free Canva Pro trial for 45 days. Now Canva has a large variety of things that they can actually print, but certain countries have access to certain templates. So I would encourage you to click on the link in my description to see what's available in your country. I would also encourage you to check out my video about my honest opinion of Canva print. I leveraged Canva to print my Canva verified expert business cards and had them delivered to my door. And so I show you what those look like and give you some ideas of things that I think are successful when leveraging Canva to print things for you. So in this tutorial, we're specifically going to look at one of their newest products, which is their envelopes. So you can actually utilize Canva to create custom envelopes for your brand, your business, or just personal use. If you're curious what things Canva can print right now, you can click on print products and they will show you a variety of templates. One is really standing out to me right now, which is a water bottle. So some of these things are not what you would typically think of Canva being able to print because they aren't paper products. So you can do things like postcards and flyers, but you can also do things like paper bags and stickers and water bottles. So be sure to actually click through some of these options when you log into Canva so you can really have a good idea of what you have access to. So we're gonna type in envelope into the search bar here, and we're going to select a landscape envelope. From there, we have a variety of options. We can choose one of the templates or we can actually design something from scratch. And so I'm actually gonna show you on a blank envelope for a couple reasons. So we're going to click on blank envelope in the top left-hand corner, and that's going to open it up for us in Canva. Now, if for some reason the template is not sized for the type of envelope you're hoping to create, you can use Magic Resize if you have a Canva Pro account. So you could type in envelope again, and you could see a variety of sizes here. So you have a shipping envelope, an A9 envelope, a square envelope. So if for some reason this is not the size you were looking for, all you would have to do is click on that design and it would resize within the same template. So the reason why I wanted to show a blank envelope is to show you how you can pull in elements to create a really fun look and feel on a blank envelope. So if you don't happen to like some of the templates that are available, it's not really your style, you can click on elements in the top left-hand corner and you can describe what you're looking for. So if I said handwritten, I could do, or hand-drawn, that'd be better. So if I do hand-drawn and I click on graphics, maybe one of these elements is more along the lines of what I'm looking for. I mean, this is a really dainty snowflake that I could easily put in the bottom right-hand corner of my envelope, and that would look really great when it's printed. So if some of these templates are a bit much for your liking, feel free to just bring in elements to create the look and feel that you would like. I would also say most of these envelopes are going to look the best on a white envelope, because if you think about it, if it's completely color across the board, there are gonna be some areas where the color of your envelope is not seen. So just to give you an example, I'm going to duplicate this page and I'm going to add a background. We'll go here and we'll say snow and we'll bring in this really pretty 
snow photo. And we'll just drag it and send backward. You can barely see our little snowflake, but this will show you what I mean. And so if we just quite simply in the top right hand corner, go to print envelope and we select the page that we would like to print, you're gonna see in the top right hand corner that that photo doesn't actually go to the complete edge of the envelope. So I would encourage you as you are designing your envelopes and you're pulling in different elements, you take a look at what would this design actually look like printed because it may not translate as well to print as it would if you were just putting a digital photo on a social media platform. So when designing for print, you really have to be concerned about your crop lines and your bleed to make sure things look the way that you want them to look. So that's just a really quick example. So from there, what I would do is I would actually add my either logo or my name and put in my street address. You could even add your website if that's relevant to your business in the top left-hand corner. So not only are you adding elements to create a design on your envelopes, save yourself some effort and go ahead and have your name printed and your address printed. So all you have to do is either add stickers or add a handwritten name and address to the person that you're sending it to. So what I'm going to do is leverage my brand kit to add my name and my address to my envelope. One of the things that I like to do is actually drag from either the top left or the top right to make my text boxes smaller and then drag in the middle to bring it in one line. And now we'll bring in the address text boxes. So one thing that you may want to do once you add your text is you may want to change the alignment of your text. So what I would do here is actually center this. I think that'll look a little bit better and pull it out so that it's in alignment with my first name at the top. But again, you can play around with this. You can also add a logo. So if I wanted to take that out, I could leverage my uploaded logos to add my bootstrap biz advice to my envelope. And then maybe in that case, I could do a left align tool. The other thing that's really nice about getting Canva to print it is you can have color versus just doing black and white. So maybe I'll do a nice little green there and we can make the snowflake green as well. All right. So here is just a very quick example of an envelope that we designed. So in order to print it, we're going to go in the top right hand corner and we are going to tell Canva which pages we want to print and how many. Um, you also have the happiness guarantee that you can leverage, which means if you order something from Canva and it's not to your liking, they'll either fix it and reprint it or completely refund it. So after you do that, you'll type in your shipping information and it will send it to your door. One thing I would encourage you to do before you submit your order is to always do one final check Download that PDF and get a visual of what your envelope will look like when it is printed. Because sometimes once you see the final check, you may want to do a few minor adjustments before paying for your design. So that's a really important step not to skip. Even if Canva doesn't detect any issues, it just gives you that little peace of mind to know that things look visually how you would like before you send them out. So I hope you guys take advantage of this because this is a really cool way for you to add your branding to your business envelopes, but also to save yourself time if you have envelopes you need to send on a personal basis. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm LaShonda Brown, a Canva verified expert from Virginia. If you would like to try Canva Pro free for 45 days, visit LaShondaBrown.com slash Canva 45. If you like this video, you'll want to watch my video about how to use Canva to create and print your own calendar next. Until next time, ta-ta for now.